one hour till gates open and we are off to Paris. In my six month Europe trip of testing out nomadic living, I was only planning to visit Paris for a week or so. But while browsing Airbnb, I came across an unreviewed apartment only available in the month of May. And after a few messages with the host, she gave me the whole month for the price of what a week stay in a typical Paris Airbnb would have cost. Quelle chance! And that is how my one month of living alone in Paris came to be. This video is the first week getting settled into the new city. We are back after some delicious lunch. This apartment is so beautiful, guys. I literally cannot believe that I'm gonna be living here for the next month. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a tour. Bathroom, she is literally so tiny, like, you kind of have to pee sideways for the living room which has the perfect little table for working and this little lounge space right over here look at all of these books oh my god and then across from the living room we have the bedroom currently a mess because i'm unpacking all my stuff I don't even know when I'm gonna wear this, but you got my birthday. <laughs> it's been my birthday in Paris. All of my belongings for six months. Carry-on suitcase and backpack. Honestly, it makes cleaning up and doing laundry really, really easy and fast. So I'm extremely happy with this. My groceries for the week. Oh, dried bread. What the heck is this? Let's try this confiture chatin. It kind of has like red bean filling consistency. Ooh, and it has like some spices on it. Mmm, I'm really glad I got this jam. Okay, I really like her. I'm not a fan of this bread. We just took a really nice hot shower. Not gonna lie, I do kind of miss Berlin though. This is gonna be a very interesting month. I can feel it already. It's always evenings where all of my like thoughts rush into my head. And since I'll be alone all month, I think I'll like really have to face all of them. But I'm excited. Even though I'm really tired right now. I slept so well last night. That bed is so comfy. I have a tendency, especially when I'm by myself, to just like stay in all the time. So I'm gonna make myself go out on a little walk every single day. so grainy what veggie tzatziki with cucumber and mint oh my freaking goodness oh my god oh my goodness 
This is so tasty. Originally, I thought like, oh, I want to like be nomadic and just be on the road until I'm 30. And in my 30s, I'm going to settle down. But then I was like, why am I constricting myself to these like numbers? I guess I feel like I need to have like my own apartment or just like my own spot room or wherever somewhere to feel a sense of like security and groundedness but those are just feelings that you can cultivate in yourself anywhere you go they don't have to be tied to a particular thing or object or person and that's kind of what i'm doing right now i really want to experience living in all different parts of the world and there's no rush to be like oh i need to do all of this before i'm 30. so maybe in the meantime it's just about taking baby steps these organic tomatoes are so amazing. Yum. Time to go do some work. Good morning, my beautiful cherry blossom plum pies. It's another day just working. Actually, I'm gonna post this sleepover video with Anya and then this evening, I'm gonna go hang out with Moya. So I'm really excited. It's my first social interaction since arriving here. Okay, I'm gonna make a really impromptu salad. Chick, 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 chick. And then I'm gonna put in a spoonful of hummus, tzatziki, tomatoes, et voila. Lunch is served. Oh, I need a fork. I cannot eat this with a tiny spoon. Or can I? Mmm. Hmm. I walked into the kitchen not knowing what I was gonna eat, guys. And I just looked at the fridge, and that's how you figure out what you're gonna eat. Like, don't ask me three hours ahead what's for lunch. I don't freaking know. It is a beautiful, beautiful, sunny day today. Um, I think it's gonna be my first day venturing into like proper center of Paris. But the thing is like, I cannot keep wearing sandals, climbing up these hills because my legs, my calves are struggling. So I think I'm gonna go visit the ASIC store. But first off, let's eat something. I've just been snacking on like banana, like dates dipped into almond butter and it's really delish. Look at that. Mmm. Mm. How much do we put of this? You're definitely supposed to like mix this into the hot water first, so don't don't do it how I'm doing it. Or maybe do do it if this turns out well. Okay, we are no longer following instructions, just intuition. Mmm. Mmm. Tomatoes, hummus, probably good to throw in some tzatziki too. The stuff is too good. Cooking. Okay, let's give this a try. Mmm. Couscous is actually so underrated. Is it a grain? Is it a seed? I don't know, but it's fluffy and yummy. Honestly, I think this tastes better than rice.
Shall we go make dinner? Mm -hmm. Patat de lentil. <laughs> <laughs> that has to go nowhere. <laughs> nowhere except for the World Wide Web. <laughs> Every time I leave my neighborhood and see like the rest of Paris, I'm shocked Pikachu every time because I'm like, holy crap, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so cute and small. Oh my god, I see them. I'm nervous. <laughs> Bonjour, je m'appelle Lia, je viens de Canada, mais maintenant je visite Paris. Today I chose a class about getting around the city and I learned a bunch of new vocabulary such as heure de pointe and even ones like enfer terrestre. I also got to learn about the different ways people pronounce the same word based off of their accent, like the word train, which you could say train. I love that the classes are only three to five people, which means the prof has time to help each individual and everyone gets a chance to talk and discuss. Plus, Lingoda also added a vocab and quiz page so you can review and test your knowledge after each class. Whew. Okay! J'ai plus confiance après ma cour. C'est très utile d'avoir un espace pour pratiquer, tu te sens sûr, sans jugement. Je vous encourage d'essayer le Lingo de Sprint si tu veux améliorer vos niveaux de langue comme français, espagnol, allemand, anglais. And the best part about the Sprint is if you succeed, as in you take all of your classes, no exams, nothing, you will get your tuition back. 50% of your tuition back if you do the regular sprint, or you can get 100% of your cash back if you successfully complete the super sprint. And I did this at the beginning of the pandemic and I freaking killed it, okay? I killed it. I never had so much motivation to show up to a class on time. It's actually super great that it's only two months now because it's just so much more of a manageable pocket and with summer rolling around, I think it'd be a really great time to just take good use of your break, of your vacation, and have a little fun French class every morning, something. They're really chill. You can do it as seriously or as like relaxed as you want. Personally, it's a very no pressure thing for me. And it's one of the reasons I love it. I feel like you just like learn better when I'm not stressed, you know? If you want to try it out, I do have a discount code for you guys and you can use it next time you sign up for the sprint. This is what it looks like when the sun is setting. Let's get it cooking. of stuff that I'm trying to come to terms with in terms of worky things or life things or even still like sometimes feelings of aloneness but I don't know I guess that's just like the reality of life and how feelings are sometimes I've kind of been trying to avoid them a little bit I feel like I'm questioning myself a lot just need to learn how to feel okay with that and also Comfort myself, give myself a hug. These are just growing pains at the end of the day and it's totally okay. Just did like four pages of journaling, all of my thoughts and my to-do list for tomorrow. And I honestly, I feel so much better. Like I just feel so much at peace. You know, sometimes when you just like really don't want to journal and want to watch everything that distracts you is like truly the time when you need to do it most and I feel so good that 
after doing it. If you're feeling a little bit journal, okay? Do it. Don't be like me and hold it off. Actually, be like me because I just freaking journal and I feel great, guys. I can go to bed at peace now, so. You guys, you got this. You're doing great, you're amazing. And the word that I would like to meditate on is assurance because that's what I really need. I need a sense of assurance from myself. We're all gonna be okay, guys. We got this. Okay, good night. Mwah.